Hi. My friend loaned me his GoPro, so I'm giving it a shot. I don't know how this is gonna work. So a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video about why or why I wouldn't go to my high school reunion. And I guess I didn't clarify whether I was going or not, but initially I had no intentions of going because I just didn't want to. I didn't feel like I had a really good enough reason, so I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna go, whatever. But the reunion came and I actually had worked the entire day and I wanted to go out and grab a drink. So I messaged my friend who had initially said that he wasn't going either, but then at the last minute, he bought tickets and decided to go. And I was like, nah. So he kept trying to persuade me to go and I was just really not having it. I was like, no, I'm good, you go, bitch. But eventually he broke me down and I said, fine, I'd stop by because he said that he was not gonna be there for very long and I could just show my face and then we could just go on our way and grab a drink somewhere else. I'm gonna let you know now that he lied. <laughs> what had happened was, now this is kind of sad, but before I went, I went out to grab drinks somewhere else. So I can, you know, kind of relax and loosen up. So when I see these people, I could actually make some sort of decent, somewhat interesting conversation. I had three shots of tequila, half a bottle of soju, and somebody else's beer? I don't know. So after those drinks, I was like, yeah, let's do this, let's go. I can talk to anybody. Converse with me. Come here, talk to me. So I'm walking to the reunion. It's the, it's the end of the reunion, so I'm catching the tail end of it. And so I'm thinking this is gonna be over soon. I just stop by, no big deal. It doesn't matter, I'm feeling awesome. On my way, I'm thinking like, what's gonna happen? Like. Is like all those memories from high school gonna come back? Is anybody even gonna remember me? Who's gonna be there is probably my main concern. I get there and it's really not that bad. It's pretty awesome. Um, I see a bunch of people that I haven't seen in a long time and were actually interested in things that I had to say and wanted to talk about, you know, kind of adult stuff. And, you know, some old friends came and gave me hugs and and they were like, oh, I'm so glad you came. I'm so glad you came. Oh, I thought you weren't coming. I'm so glad you're here. I got hugs and stuff. This is when the alcohol is hitting. So I'm, I'm very touchy. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm so glad to see you too. Not that I wasn't, I was, but I wasn't awkward about it. So like, I, there were so many people that were just like, ah, ah, so good to see you. I'm sure I've missed seeing some people. I'm sure I just said hi. And then I got turned around and saw somebody else. And then this is one of my favorite moments from the evening. One girl came up to me and said, Oh my God, Jeff, look, it's Mr. International. She was talking about me. I am Mr. International. I mean, not at the moment, but you know, what she didn't, cause I'm gonna, cause I was international and hopefully I'll be international again. So I was like, I like that. I like the way that sounds. And then for the rest of the night, I just kind of talked to people and I danced. I haven't danced in a while, it was, it was really fun. They played songs from back when I graduated. It was just a good old time. And another funny thing is, there were people there that I probably didn't say more than two sentences to during high school. But I saw them and we talked and I might have touched people's faces inappropriately. But that's okay, we were all really drunk and just having a good time. Once we left the actual reunion, things got very blurry. I don't remember what happened. I remember stumbling around, talking to people, trying to pretend that I wasn't drunk and that I am a well-established adult. But I don't know how that went by. I really just hope that everybody else was just as drunk as I was, that they didn't notice. I haven't gotten any phone calls from anybody or any text messages about my inappropriate behavior, so I'm guessing it went okay. So also, another good thing from the reunion that I took away from it was my friend messaged me the next day and was saying that she was really glad that I came, especially since I said that I wasn't gonna go to begin with. Her mom had asked her, who were you glad to see the most? And she said it was me! I don't know. I mean, it's like really not a big deal, but it made my day. So shout out to Aaron. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, I was really glad to see you too. I'm, I hope you come by and hang out and we can grab drinks and not be hammered so we can have 
an actual conversation. So for the people who actually watch my videos, uh, let me know about your high school reunion or are you gonna go to your high school reunion? Do you want to go? Why? Why not? Are you hot and successful now? Because if you are, you should probably go and just rub it in their face. If not, you still got time. I mean, I'm still working on it. So if you enjoyed this video at all, please hit that thumbs up button. This sounds very textbooky. It's what all YouTubers say at the end of their videos. Find me on Instagram and Snapchat. Check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.